What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way, I will not surrender I will do my best until I get put under What if I go stronger? What is going on everybody, my name is KillerMHD and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video guys, we are on the map classified. What I'm about to show you is an insane team AFK God Mode Unlimited DG5 Ragnarok glitch. Now, this allows the zombies to pop up in one location as well in the spawn room. So it's absolutely awesome. Now you're going to need a few requirements. One is the rags as your special weapon. Two is the grenades as your equipment and also you're probably going to need the Alexa called Nowhere But There and Maybird Arsenal Accelerator. Now once you've got all them, all you need to do then is go into a game with a minimal of two players. You can't do this solo I'm afraid. You need one player to down themselves against this door. Make sure that you don't open up any of the barriers in the spawn room. Now the other player is going to use the Alexa called Nowhere But There. He's going to come at the outside of the door. He's going to wait here for a second until the guy that is inside the spawn room crawls over to the chair. Now at this point he just needs to run along, revive him from the window up and quickly run to the next door. As you can see because you only got the chance of two death barriers before you go down. So out here you just want to wait for your health to regenerate and then you want to run again to the lift. Open up the barrier and then run back. Now once you run back, you want to wait here again for your health to regenerate again. At this point, the players inside the actual spawn room should be holding a zombie. Now once your health regenerates for the final time, you then want to run to the lift, activate the lift and then go down. You should only hit two death barriers on the way down. Now at this point, all you want to do is hold a grenade, blow yourself up and the other players that are in the spawn room are going to use the Alexa nowhere but there one at a time once the last player is down here you can then revive the team that's on the floor and then you're ready to move on to the next step now the next step is you're going to need to have at least one player start off this by getting his specialist from stage one which is the shock slam to stage two which is the execute to stage three which is the power plant and you can do that either by using the arsenal accelerator or just by filling it up by killing zombies using your specialist now once it's on stage three all he needs to do is go into the lift because you know there's going to be death barriers up there the other players are going to stay down here and keep the last two zombies or one or last one zombie now here all he's going to do is he's going to come out he's going to hit the death barrier twice he's then going to bring out his specialist he should give him some shield when he brings out his specialist and then he's going to let the death barrier hit him a couple more times until he goes down to 15 health. Now at 15 health all he needs to do is plant his DG5s and then completely bleed out by the death barrier. Now the other players in the game are going to kill the rest of the zombies and it's going to spawn him in. Now at this point all other players in the game should be in the spawn room by using the teleport to get here and the player that's been spawned in all he needs to do is hold a grenade. Now, it's going to allow the crosshairs to flicker three times. And on the fourth time, just before the fourth time, you want to jump into the teleporter. And if done correctly, guys, you should be spectating your friends. You should blow up and it should look like you've gone through the teleporter. Now, all your friends need to do is kill the rest of the zombies. It's going to spawn you back in the actual spawn room, which is the conference room. And you should be in god mode. Now, you can't use the teleporter at this point. This is the reason why you have to spawn him back in the actual conference room. And then from there, all you want to do then is get the second player to do the same method. And then finally, with the last player, it's going to be a little bit more trickier. Now, with the last player, all you need to do is make sure that the other players in the game are in the spawn room. The last player is just going to hit this death barrier twice again. Once he hits it twice, he's going to bring out his DG5 Ragnarok. Once his health goes down to 15, he's then going to power plant his rags, move back a bit, and then die from the death barrier. Now, the players... That are actually in the spawn room can kill the rest of the zombies and it will spawn him back and he'll be in the conference room. Now from there all he needs to do then is go to a teleporter, hold a frag grenade, wait for the crosshairs to flicker three times and just before the fourth time you want to jump into the teleporter. What's going to happen is he's going to blow up in the teleporter and all friends in the game in the spawn room should kill the last zombies to spawn him back in god mode. 
Then from there, all he needs to do is shoot enough zombies that are piling right there to get a specialist drop. Make sure your other players are away from the specialist drop. And he needs to then, in slow motion, bring out his deadly fives, put them away by cancelling them, and as soon as they go off the screen, bring them out again. Now, at this point, you'll notice you've done it correctly because one, your deadly fives will be in your hand. And at the meter bar, the green meter bar will not be going down. Now, the really good thing about this glitch is, guys, is because all the other doors are closed and there is only one spawn pile up. So basically, when the zombies come from the window, they're only going to go to one area. And if you've got three mates or four mates or even two mates standing in this area, AFK with a limited specialist, you can go up the rounds, kill everything, and you won't have to worry. And you can get to that 150 Easter egg if you guys have not achieved it. You can also get yourself set up where your two mates are slightly different in a different spot. So that one could be facing the door, one could be out facing like a window. So you both get points, you both get expert. But this works in a public game. It also works in a custom rotations game. And it's absolutely awesome. So a big shout out to the founders. Their link will be in the description. Which I believe is Z Steel Glitchers and Unique Gaming Productions. So you guys check them out. Awesome guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. It's been Channel Match 30 and I'm out. Bye bye.